Disappointment, there's no other way to put it. For the second time in less than a week, NASA was forced to scrub the maiden flight of its SLS moon rocket. We do not launch until we think it's right. The issue was a hydrogen leak where the hydrogen propellant flows into the rocket's core stage. Engineers and technicians spent three hours troubleshooting the problem, but to no avail. Hydrogen is the tiniest of elements and difficult to contain. It wants to escape and will find any exit point if one exists. We don't go into these tests lightly, right? We, we don't just say, hey, we think, we hope this is going to work. Um, the confident, confidence to do another launch attempt today was born out of the fact that uh, we understood the hydrogen leaks that we had on, on Monday. Those are different than the leak that we had today um, in, in terms of scale. One was in the, the same place, but today was a different signature. Um, and we, we understood the engine issue. So we were confident coming into today. The space agency will decide by early next week whether to replace the leaky quick disconnect at the launch pad or roll back to the vehicle assembly building. This is an incredibly hard business. This is an initial test flight of this vehicle. As was said by uh, Administrator Nelson, we're going to fly when we're ready. And uh, as part of this initial test flight, we're learning the vehicle. We're learning how to operate the vehicle, and we are learning um, all of the things required to get us ready to fly. If they can get everything fixed, the next possible launch attempt would be mid-October, and that launch would be in the middle of the night. For My Radar at the Kennedy Space Center, I'm John Zarella. Follow My Radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.